<laughs> Good morning, Apples. Today is Friday, October 30th. That means that tomorrow is Halloween. Did you know that 41 million children go trick-or-treating every year? That's a lot of candy. Halloween can be scary, just like the snakes on campus. Now, Riley with our update. Here's a Halloween fun fact. The largest pumpkin ever grown was 836 pounds. I read that in a book. I love reading books. In fact, here's my favorite one. Another Halloween fun fact is that some people believe that black cats are bad luck. As a queen, I don't believe in bad luck, but I do believe in helping those who are less fortunate, like all the cats and dogs at the Humane Society. Here's the Halloween geography fact for you. Halloween was originally called Samhain in a place now called Ireland. I love to travel. Where in the world will you be trick-or-treating this weekend? Well, I hope you like our Halloween show. Remember, Owls, be wise and safe while you're trick-or-treating this weekend. Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, December 11th. And we're live at the gingerbread shop. Did you know Santa goes all around the world in one night and his first stop is London? Hey, that happens to be where Ben is this week. We elves get a lot of exercise making all these toys. Here's Trinity with the great way for you to exercise. A lot of people are traveling this holiday. Make sure to be safe. Hey! It's our elf from the shelf, Rob. He travels to the North Pole and back every night. Our first graders recently did some traveling too. Let's see where they went. There's so many great things at the gingerbread shop, I just can't decide. Should I get this charm bracelet or should I get these flowers? I love the gingerbread shop, but that's not the only fascinating thing going on around campus. Well, that's our show, elves. Get in the holiday spirit and come visit the gingerbread shop. Remember, it's open every day next week. Good morning, now. Today is Friday, February 12, 2016. Do you feel it? Feel what? Love, it's in the air. Yeah, it's almost Valentine's Day. Let's find out how much the lunch ladies love me. I mean us. I got my teacher an awesome Valentine's Day gift. Did you know that teachers get the most Valentine's Day treats each year? Speaking of treats, let's find out which classes won the donut party. Wow, more than 36 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolate are sold each year. Cool. Oh, I think I would have to exercise after eating all that chocolate. Well, I know who to talk to about that. I just learned that Valentine's Day first started in Italy. I've always wanted to go to Italy. Isn't that where Quinn's family's from? Yeah, she did a special report for us. Camille, I have the best idea ever. I'm going to make cookies for my mom on Valentine's Day. Are you sure you have all the ingredients? I don't know. You know it takes a lot of ingredients to make bricks and glass too? Here's Jensen to tell you more. That's our show, Owls. Remember, Valentine's Day is a day of love. So when you go home today, make sure you share the love with your friends and family and share your chocolate too. Good morning, now. Today is Friday, November 20th. You know what that means? Next week is Thanksgiving. That means we have a whole week off. Please stand for the pledge. Every Thanksgiving, my family has a big turkey dinner. It's so good, but it makes us so tired. I know what you can do for that. All you need to do is exercise. Here's fitness with Trinity. I am so thankful that we have no school next week. Five whole days off. What are you thankful for? Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful. It's also time to have fun with your family. My family and I are always telling jokes over the dinner table. If you don't know any good jokes, here's a couple you can use. The message of Thanksgiving is to be thankful and spend time with your family. My family is very important to me. Here's a way to keep your family safe. The first Thanksgiving dinner between the Pilgrims and the Native Americans was a huge celebration. Yeah, it lasted three whole days. That was an enormous feast. Hey, that happens to be our word of the week. The Pilgrims went on a long journey across the ocean to America on a boat called the Mayflower. Our first graders went on a journey too, all the way to the public library. The Pilgrims' voyage on the Mayflower was a really long trip. 
I make sure that when I go on really long trips, I bring a good book. That's our show, Owls. All this food talk makes me really hungry. Well, I'm going to go get some turkey while you guys watch the video montage. Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, December 4th. Now that it's December, it could get really chilly. Today's hot lunch is cheeseburger and fries. And today's cold lunch is yogurt snacker. You know what I like to do on a cold day? Stay inside and read a good book. Now let's find out who our AR winners are. Now it's time for our joke of the week. Do you guys remember our ancient Egyptian marker day? Jensen is going to show us how they got ready for it. Hey Camille, did you see all the gorgeous Christmas trees in the library? Yes, they were awesome. Here's Ben to tell us more. That's our show, Owls. Now it's time for a video montage. 